Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new SPTS video. In today's video, we will be making it so that our stats and powers, stuff like that, so that it all saves. And we will be adding codes in this video. So yeah, this will be a fun one, guys. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make it save because we need that for the code. So then, you know, we can't redeem the same code over and over. All right, so what we're gonna do first is go into server script service and make a new script and call it save script. Now I already made this script um, and I'll show you what to put in it. All right guys, so here we are in our blank, pretty much blank script. And um, so yeah, first thing we're gonna do is delete hello world. Then we are going to put in a reference to our data store service script, script or data store service service and we're going to make a data store. Next, we set up a function so that we check when the player joins and add a way and make a player key. Uh, this will be the key we use to access the data store. Um, so it's just ID in the player's user ID, which is always unique for every player. That's something made by Roblox already. The next thing we need is this um, array full of every stat that we need to save in our leader stats. Um, I'll go ahead and put this either in like a comment or in the description so you guys don't have to type all, all these stats. Uh, we could close that now and then we need to actually get started on the saving. So we'll get a reference to our data store and um, yeah, then next thing we'll do is check if there's anything in our data store already. If there is, then we want to just make a, um, a little for loop through our stat stuff, our stats array. And then we want to set the value for every stat equal to the saved value for that stat. Okay, so then if there is no currently saved values, then what we're going to want to do is make a new array for this NFS stands for numbers for saving. Um, so this will be equal to a blank array for now. Uh, then we will loop through all of our saves and just append them through, uh, append them to the numbers for saving array, except the only difference is we're in the numbers for saving array, we want the value instead of the the stat. And then we will like make a save with all the current values. All right, so that should already be saving uh, stuff. Well, not really, because uh, it will only save on join. But like when you leave, that won't save yet. So what we'll have to do for that is make a players removing uh, function. And then we want to pretty much have the same exact stats thing, except the only difference with this is it has dot value after everything. So it's the values of all the uh, stats that we want to save. All right, so then the next thing we need is to just set, um, set the data store. So use our player key again, ID with the player's user ID, and then just pass in our save saving values. And um, yeah, that's it. That's all we need for this data store. Now, uh, so we have a fresh data store, not the one I was using for testing. I'm gonna change this data store to um, my very important data. And yeah, everything should be working. All right, guys, so now that we have the save, save script, what you're gonna wanna do is publish this game to Roblox if you haven't already, and then go test it on Roblox. So let's go do that. So here we are on the game page, and let's click and join. All right, so here we are loading into the server, and if we go here, you see all of our stats. So let's just get this to a multiplier four and just start punching a little. All right, that's good enough. Let's do some push-ups now. Get that to a multiplier of two. Get some psychic multiplier of eight. And agility multiplier of four as well. All right, so these numbers look pretty good. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's try this. We have 10 coins currently. All right, so as you saw, we left the game. Uh, let's refresh our page. Let's give it a like. You always got to do that. And let's try this again. So we join in, we have 10 coins. That's already a good sign to see. And we have all of our stats. Everything has saved perfectly. Now let me mention the reason why I told you guys to do this in Roblox and not Roblox Studios. So the thing is, I've noticed when testing, 
Um, sometimes when you stop playing a game, stop testing a game in Roblox Studios, it will say disconnected um, in the output. And that doesn't happen all the time for some reasons. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, but I noticed that the times that it does say that, it does save. And the times it doesn't say that, it doesn't save. So yeah, Roblox is always the most accurate anyway, since that's what your players are actually going to be playing. Alright, well, now you see that the saving is working perfectly. So yeah, alright guys, so now we're going to move on to the codes. So let's show you how we do this. First, we're going to quickly make the GUI. I'm going to try not to spend too much time on this. So we'll make a screen GUI and call it codes GUI. Alright, next thing we do, we obviously need to insert a frame. And we'll just set that size to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0. We'll make an anchor point of 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 and a position of 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0. All right, so now that we have this, I am not really focused too much on the design. We'll just duplicate uh, the frame and we will put it inside the other frame. We will change the height to 0 0.25. We will change the position to 0 0.0. Uh, 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 perfect so now we will change the color of our frames the background color 3 we'll give it this uh, nice bluish color we'll also give it a border size pixel of 4 and the color the border color will be 0 comma 0 comma 0 now inside this frame we will make a text label this text label size 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 background transparency to 1 the text scale to true text to code We'll make the font to sources sans bold. Text stroke color to, yeah, leave it like that. Text stroke transparency zero. Text color 255 comma 255 comma 255. All right, so then the next thing we will do is inside, we'll rename this frame to title. Then we will duplicate this and we will set the size to one comma zero comma one comma zero. And we will then rename this to body and set the position to 0, 0, 0, 0, and the anchor point to 0, 0. So now we will actually need to shrink this down just a little like that. And we will get rid of the border that it looks like that. So now for this text label, we will scale that down to be about here and we will change the text to redeem code. So now in here, uh, we can change this to just actually leave it like that and inside the body we will have a text box and this text box will have a size of text box will have a size of 0 0.5 or 0 0.8 comma 0 comma 0 0.2 comma 0 and we can change the height to be 0 0.2 to five or even 0 0.35 all right so now we'll place that right here um that looks good or maybe a little to the right it needs to go. All right, so there, there's that. Uh, we will change the background color to be a little grayish and we will have the placeholder text be redeem code. And we will have text scale to true, font to source of sans bold. All right, so there we do, well, there we have it. Um, it looks pretty good. Not really, but it will it will serve its purpose. All right, so now let's get into the scripting. What we'll do is go into server storage and make a module script, and we will call this module script nothing but codes module. All right, guys, so first thing you're going to want to do is rename the module to, from module to codes, and then insert this line codes.code1 is equal to an dictionary and basically code is equal to whatever you want the code to be. So for the first code, it's gonna be TSL is the best cause you know, we only stay true on this channel. And the reward will be equal to 50. And then we will have a second code and this will be 1K subs, which by the way, thank you once again for 1K subs. And the reward will be 100. And the reward is in coins. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, what we're gonna do is insert something into um, the leader stats. So open up that leader stats script of yours and then we're going to make a new thing. All the way at the bottom of your leader stats stuff we will make a local a redeem codes and this will be equal to an instance dot new and a string value and we want this to be inside the player. We want it to be redeemed codes dot name is equal to redeemed codes and redeemed codes dot value is equal to nothing for now. All right, so now here's the part that we actually are going to redeem the codes. So first thing we're gonna do is insert a 
local script into our text box. All right, so in this local script, we will first off make a script.parent.input ended function, and we are then going to get the text. That's it for what we're going to be doing in the script for now. All right, so next up, we're going to replicate a storage and make yet another remote event, and we will call this one code redeem code then in server script service we will make a script and call this redeem code we'll make a local event equal to game colon get service replicate a storage dot redeem code all right so the next thing that we will do is connect this to a on server event and take in the player into text then we need to require our codes module and then loop through that codes module and then if the text that we pass through the code is equal to an actual code that's in the codes module, then we want to add to the player's coins value the reward. Then in the local script, we will have to call the event. All right, so what we will do is add in this line right here, game colon get service replicated storage that redeem code colon fire server text. And it's just firing the event and passing in the text. Now I was just testing this and the input ended doesn't seem to be the most uh, reliable thing. So I'm gonna do some researching and see if I can find a better alternative. All right, so uh, very, very less than a minute later and I found something. So what we can do is script.parent.focusLost colon connect function. And this takes an enter key press and an input that caused focus lost that we're just gonna call irrelevant because it's irrelevant. All right, so we'll do if enter key press, then we're gonna do is that and put that there. All right, so now hopefully this will be working more consistently. So let's just save this quickly and let's test it. All right, so we'll try the uh, 1K subs code. And as you see, it went from 300 to 400. If I do it again, uh, 1K subs. See, we have 420 right now. And let me just wait. All right, 4.30 right now, click 5.30. All right, let's try the TSL is the best code. This should give me 50, so I should go from 550 to 600, which I successfully did. Now I can redeem these codes as much as I want because we never uh, used our our um, redeemed codes vari variable or string value, and we never actually checked if we redeemed the codes. So let's do that now. Okay, so what we are going to do now is add a line in this script and we'll say player dot redeemed codes dot value plus equals and then the v dot code dot dot and then a comma. All right, so this is important, um, but what we can actually do is have a local redeemed codes up here and equal to that and then we'll do redeemed codes dot value is equal to that all right so then what we're going to also do here is say and or here instead of this we'll just add a space so we'll do and not redeemed codes colon match uh v dot code all right so this should um this should work hopefully all right so let's open up our player and find our redeemed codes right here so now if i do the 1k subs code match is not a valid member of string value um because we forgot to add a redeemed codes dot value colon match All right, so let's do the same thing. Here we have it. 1K subs, attempt to per perform on string. Um, okay, all right, so what we'll do is redeem codes dot value is equal to redeem codes dot value and concatenate it like that. All right, so here we go. We'll do 1K, 1K subs, no error. We got more coins, let's open up our redeemed codes, we have 1k sub in the value. Now let's do the TSL is the best. And now we have that code there too. So let's try to redeem one of these again. So we'll do the 1k subs. All right, so we're at 500 coins. I tried it and I didn't get anything. 
TSL is the best. Tried it and didn't get anything. All right, so this is working perfectly. And that is actually, that's it for the codes. The last thing we'd need to do is just go over in our server script service save script. And we'll just down here, we'll just do codes save and we'll add a comma here first of all and we'll do player dot of redeemed codes and we could just copy this and we can put it right here and dot value all right guys well i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please remember to leave a like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on the next video in this series really hope this helped you out and i really go hope that you guys are enjoying the series as it is coming to an end thank you guys for supporting me throughout my channel's time and i hope you guys actually find use of this channel if you do then please remember to subscribe because i know like 85 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel so that's kind of sad so anyways see you in the next one guys bye